Max Verstappen wins the Canadian Grand Prix and we're here to discuss what that was all about. Eh? Welcome back to Fog Racing, Max Verstappen. It looks easier than what it was. It was a pretty good race. I mean, it was probably the best race. Well, it was the best race this season. Um, but I don't know. I think there's questionable decisions in there for a lot of teams. It's almost like they just let Max win this race. I think Mercedes bottled it. Russell bottled it and Hamilton bottled it on numerous occasions. McLaren, I think we're pretty unlucky with Norris. Ferrari in the bin. Sergio Perez, why would you re-sign this guy? We were the biggest advocates, I would say, a couple of seasons ago. 2020. Now, remember me and you? Get him in that Red Bull. And what what's happened? He has to go. That's no good enough. First season, he was alright. I'm not... Alright. I mean, he helped them win the title. It was still poor. First couple of seasons, it was a big upgrade on the drivers that had previously been in that second seat. Yeah, but now the last, you know, yes, he finished second last year on the drivers. Yeah, I get that. Look at today, right? Both Ferraris nowhere. And where is he? It's like he started 16th and he, and he, end, he, he I think he retired for the race from 14th. About what, what was it, like lap 48, lap 52 or in that region? If Max Verstappen started 16th, man, he, he would have finished at the bare minimum 6th place, but let's talk about the start of the race, shall we? The Haas started on the wet tyres, which feels about a million years ago. Magnussen got up to 4th, Hulkenberg got up to 7th, I believe. Um, and then what happened? The track essentially got drier and drier. Those two, they kind of botched that because they didn't pit in time and they should have pit it way earlier than what they did, but they didn't. So the Haas all their hard work, out the windy, and it just shows you that in F1... They need to start these, I guess it wasn't a safety car start or anything, but it's pathetic, I think, that you can go through wet tyres to dries in 10 laps. Like, the wet tyres, this is probably the first race I can remember where the wet tyre has had an advantage on the Inter. When? Name me the last time. Because normally they ditch it. Yeah, normally you're not allowed to race when it's wet. Right. I, I no, that, that is it. Well, it's, 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 it's wet enough for wet tyres. Red flag that son of a bitch. Red flag it. Uh, the McLarens were doing all right. Lando Norris closes up, overtakes Verstappen with ease, overtakes George Russell. George Russell bottles this, then lets Max Verstappen through into second place because he just... I mean, he may as well have launched it on Norris instead of just backing out and then going wide anyway. And it, this is the manoeuvre right here that cost Mercedes the win. Cost George Russell the win. Because if he stayed in front of Max, Norris would have got shafted via the safety car still. Uh, Logan Sargent sticks it in the wall, does what he does best. And then the safety car comes out. And because Norris did so well at building a gap, he actually managed to meet the safety car. And you know what? People can say that it's hard to rig F1. That should have been a safety car as soon as Sargent went in the wall. But what do they do? They wait, they time it. Norris gets shafted. He comes out, I believe, in what, P3 behind Russell and Verstappen. Yeah, like, <laughs> if they bring out the safety car... A couple of seconds either side. Either Norris probably beats it out, he gets it in front of it, or he gets enough time to come into the pits. But so they bring out the safety car within such a small period of time where Norris doesn't have a chance to react to it. I mean, you can say what you want, like, but effectively what they've done here is they've punished Norris for building a big gap. Norris had like an 11 second gap over for Satin. If he only had the five second gap, he'd have been able to pit first and he'd have come out in first place in that battle for the lead. So, yeah, you're getting shafted here, Norris, for essentially being faster. But you could tell it was going to be a safety car anyway. Should have brought it out straight away, but they waited, they waited, they waited, and then they brought it out when it was too late for Norris. I'm not saying they deliberately cheat him, but when you look at decisions like this, it's a safety car that has... No, it's definitely easy to manipulate. Could the FIA have went here? Lando Norris is winning this by an absolute landslide with this 11 seconds. If we bring him out back and forth, that's going to give us more action. I'm not saying that's what they thought, but you can. it's like VAR in football. You can definitely manoeuvre it to favour what outcome you want. Anyway, safety car comes back in, uh, and then Max pretty much leads from Russell and Norris. Lewis, then Piastri, then Hamilton. Lewis. You can clearly tell here that Mercedes have took a step forward because... I thought they were the fastest car out there, but they, they just couldn't really make it work. As for this intermediate period, because more rain came down, what were Ferrari doing with Charles Leclerc? I have no idea. They fixed the engine issue, but decided to keep them on hard tyres on a on a track that was clearly wet. 
But then, like, all the pace that McLaren had in the first stint, it just didn't really happen here. Like, yeah, I was expecting Norris to, like, overtake Russell and overtake Verstappen. Didn't happen. But then the chaos happened. Sergio Perez sticks it in the wall. Just not good enough, right? The guy's simply not good enough. Then Alexander Albon and Carlos Sainz. Damn it. What happened with these guys? I'll tell you what happened with these guys. Carlos Sainz spins. Albon tries to avoid it by and then goes into him. It's unlucky from Albon. It's a disaster from Ferrari. I mean, all the talk's been, oh, we're 20-odd points behind Red Bull. Let's take the fight to them. And Verstappen... Has the constructors gone? Verstappen pulls 25 points single-handedly. I, I don't get what's happened there. Um, and then the race pretty much ends after the safety car. You had Russell... Hamilton gets past Russell after like him and Piastri get close. And then Hamilton, with two laps to go, right? It would be his first podium of the season. I would. It's almost like he just let George Russell through. What happened to the Hamilton that was, you know, would race people to the edge, even against Max in 2021? I think a lot of the time he bottled it. And I don't know what's done that to him. He's not the driver he was. Lewis Hamilton is not what people think he is, man. And people saying, oh, Mercedes are favouring Russell. Of course they favour him. He's staying. That's the way Formula One works. If you don't understand it, well, fucking get to understand it. But the race finished, troops. We're starting from Norris, Russell, Hamilton, Piastri, Alonso, Stroll, Ricardo, Gasly, and Ocon. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of people describing this race as a 10 out of 10. It's nowhere near a 10 out of 10, right? I mean, I think it's like a 7.5. What would you rate it? I'm going to get a 7.5. I thought the second half was disappointing. You looked like it could have been a battle for the Lynn, and then all of a sudden Max just basically, despite having problems, seen it out rather comfortably in the end. Yep. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Ferrari, I, I do not know where they go from here. Um, I, I think... Plus, it's not like multiple... See, you look at it, like, there wasn't multiple positions changing. I mean, you look at Alonso, he was kind of just stuck in sixth the entire race. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he had Hamilton behind him, then Hamilton got in front, but it's not like the, it's not like lap by lap people were overtaking every other car. It wasn't like that. It was, it was kind of boring. I mean, you had your your top guys that were maybe making mistakes, getting in front of each other, but yeah, no, I mean, it just, I think it was start, it started pretty good, but the second half, I think, drizzled it, a wee bit like the rain. It did, yeah, it did drizzle it, as uh, the drivers were watching, Max loves a wee shocked expression, but no one's really shocked at him winning, I mean, he was 46 to win, but... It is what it is. Max does what Max does. I don't think Red Bull were the fastest car this weekend, and that's not me attempting to defend Sergio Perez. Trust me, far from it. But I just think out of the drivers on that grid, he's the best, and that's why he won. Yeah. I, I did think Norris got shafted, though. But as well, I think I think the, the Mercedes were fastest in the dry, but the McLarens were definitely the fastest car in the intermediates. Is that a fair verdict? Could be. Well, Max be. just... Fastest overall. Fastest overall, guys. We'll be back very soon. Until next time. Peace.